This is a video on using the Gradebook assessment um, tool. So I'm going to click on Gradebook. And then what I'm first going to do is I'm going to click on Course and Subject Weighting. You can see here that it is set up for you with all the overall um, expectations for your courses. There are many benefits of using um, your Gradebook to set up this way. However, if you do not want to use these pre-selected um, overall expectations, what you can do is you can set up your own custom ones. So in order to set up all new custom categories, I'm going to click on this little red X for all but one of the overall expectations. So you can see here, I just have one left. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the category and give it a short name. And then I'm going to rename the category. And give it a blue check mark. Now what I can do is I can add in my own custom categories. Um, observations. And then save. And you can see that you can do this. Just make sure that their uh, weights are going to be added to 100%. Um, so the sum weights all must be equal to 100. So you can see here, you're getting the green go ahead, but you can go ahead and use those categories. So maybe this is something where you're not going to count it for marks, but this is something that you are. <clears throat> Now, I do want to show you one last thing about using these categories. Let's say, for example, you do really want to um, use the pre-made overall expectations, but now you have these other ones right here. This would be before you start really using these categories. Um, what you could do is you could click, click delete and delete, and this pre-populates it all again. So if you did this by mistake, it's kind of like a default way to get them all back so you could use the overall expectations. Thanks so much for listening.